Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and today we're taking a one-week break from ice fishing so we can talk about our Dream Trip giveaway promotions. We've got two of them going on right now. By the time this one airs, the winner of our Ice Fishing Trip giveaway will already be drawn and announced on our social media platforms, In-Depth Outdoors, Instagram, Facebook. If you're one of the people that have registered, make sure you go to our social media platforms, see if you're the winner. I hope you are, because I look forward to getting somebody and a friend out on the ice here in the next four to six weeks so we can film a fantastic episode of In-Depth Outdoors that will air yet as part of this season's ice fishing broadcast. So, now that brings us to this week's episode. Why are we airing a summer episode now? Because we wanna give all of you the chance to get entered and registered each week following every one of our programs so you increase your odds of being selected as the winner for this summer's Dream Trip giveaway. So. Where we're headed, we're going to Lake Nipigon. It is without a doubt one of my favorite bodies of water to fish anywhere. Uh, and the reason's simple. Uh, very low pressure and incredible trophy potential. I go to this body of water multiple times every summer with friends because of the trophy potential. Uh, monster uh, northern pike, huge lake trout. The brook trout fishing is some of the best in the world and the walleye fishing is incredible as well. And I wanna take the winner of this Dream Trip giveaway to this destination in June and film a phenomenal episode that will air at the beginning of next season. So the reason we're able to do this type of promotion is we receive a lot of help from Brandel GMC in Aitken, Minnesota. If you're looking for a vehicle, I'm not telling you have to buy from Brandel, but definitely give them a chance to earn your business. And the other organization that's been a huge help to us putting this, this particular Dream Trip giveaway together is Chad Thompson at Pasha Lake Cabins. He's where we've always stayed when we go up and fish Lake Nipigon. He's a tremendous source of information and he's located in one of the most fishy parts of the world that I've ever been to. So uh, do stick around. You're gonna love today's episode. It's start to finish, huge fish in shallow water, crushing baits. I really hope that everyone that watches this show after it finishes up, you're gonna to head to indepthoutdoors.com, look for that dream trip giveaway uh, icon, get yourself registered, and the winner will walk away with a chance to fish and film on this tremendous body of water. So uh, stick around, I think you're gonna to love today's show. for my first time driving. Smooth, yeah. Never been behind the wheel of a boat before. Oh. All right, where are you taking me? Pike fishing. Pike fishing. When we were here last year, it's the first time I'd ever seen it. We got to the back of these bays where it kind of just slowly turns into sand and there was these huge schools of suckers, which I've seen that before, but they were all herded up tight. If you ever seen little schools of bullheads where they're just in a wad and the pike were around them, they weren't actively feeding at that time, but they weren't letting that school get away. You know, I've never seen anything like that before. Just keep your food handy, basically. <laughs> The big difference this year, I mean, last year, what do we think, we caught 15 out of here? Oh, there's this. Oh, salt water x wrap buddy. That was awesome. I, uh, I found the combination for this fish. <laughs> we'll catch better, but this is uh, pretty nice for the first fish, man. Good start. 
Come on up here. Oh, and it's in the nose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <sighs> Just leave him right there. That thing's a stud. <laughs> I think he's out. Yep. Good. He can just play in his little play pool right there. There you go, sir. Thank you, man. You know, before I came up here and fished for the first time, I was worried about the barbless hooks thing. But we, we don't lose fish because of it. But you get them in the net, hooks just basically pop right up. I like that. It makes it a lot easier. The fish don't get hurt, and neither do I. This is the way to start a day. This is a good one. Look at this. <laughs> That's a good one. We'll probably catch some fish bigger than this, believe it or not. But that is, honest and truly, first fish of the day. Just getting started in the first bay. It's a nice fish. 41. Super nice. I'm gonna fire that fish back. Great first specimen really heavy for fish that didn't spawn that long ago. We're gonna say goodbye. You know what, uh, Mr. Marcus, I've had fishing trips start a lot worse than that. <laughs> I'm excited. They're just so big. Come here. All right, bye. Yeah, buddy. You know, here on Nipigon, uh, it's huge body of water. There's just not a lot of it that holds pike. I mean, so much of it's that just deep and clear and cold, classic lake trout habitat. And you know, last year, you and I, we burned a lot of gas trying to find spots like this. But when we did, it meant there was a lot of fish in some small areas. And that's about the sixth big fish we've seen in here in just a few minutes. So, good start. Tons of fun. That's a Saltwater Series X wrap, one hook, as the province requires, and the color is Hothead. And I was kind of working that one pretty hard, giving her some snaps, and that fish coming from the side and just ate it up. All right, I'll take about a half dozen more of those before lunch, and about a half dozen after, we'll call it a day. I think so too. <laughs> that was fun. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandel value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandelGM.com. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. It is incredibly shallow this year. And right now the water is very clear. Kind of a tough combination for catching pike sometimes. You'll see a lot of them, but by the time you spot the fish, they've already spotted you. And you can tell by their behavior that they're just trying to get out of the way, get out of the way of the boat. That's not a good thing. 
So we may have to search out some spots with either some uh, dirtier water, cover, cover our tracks a little bit, or some wind. That'll help a lot. We're kind of limited right now in the, uh, the baits we can use. You know, the rapala, uh, the BX swimmer, <laughs> there's a fish that just was uh, startled by the boat, unfortunately. Um, it's so shallow. We can't run any baits that are going to dive too deep. So what we're both using is um, a BX swimmer. It's a rapala bait. It's got a small build to it. Pretty good pike bait. A lot smaller than some of the baits we'll throw today, but it keeps us up off the bottom. A lot of vegetation just starting to grow. It's about this tall, so you don't want to be pounding around the bottom and hook a lot of that. There we go. Fish on. Yeah. Ooh, big boil. Possibly. Oh, we got a double. Double toads. Double toads. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I saw that fish. Yours is bigger than mine. Oh, I saw that fish, threw out in front of it, twitched it. Oh, that's the way to do it, Marcus. There. Can you walk it back? <laughs> Marcus, you're a good man. Uh, Got it. There we go. Oh, thank you. Why is that quite got as big as yours? That was cool. <laughs> Downside of clear, shallow water. Fish see everything. The upside is we get to see everything too. That was just a riot to be able to see that fish just stalk that bait and just woof. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's a good fish there. So that's a BX swimmer. Marcus is using the same thing. He was using one in gold. Yeah, I want to get mine back. What's nice about these baits, they don't dive really deep. We don't have a lot of water to work with here. Uh, they've got a real subtle action to them. They're made of balsa, but they're just tough as nails because they're encased in an epoxy, which is important when you're fishing for pike because <laughs> pike like to mess up baits made from softwood. So they're a little tough on them. Would you mind putting that uh, uh, measure board on that back deck with the uh, bump to the right? All right. Yes, yeah, let's flip it around. I got it with my left hand this time. It's like I can't make up my mind, can I, Marcus? Oh, I thought I did it the right way. You did it the right way. I gave you bad information. 44. Will you give me a half on that one, Marcus? I will. I can see it just you're, barely touch. You're a generous man. <laughs> That's probably going to be one of my favorites today right there. Great fish, got to see the whole thing, crystal clear water. Ate up that BX minnow, 44 and a half inch pike. It's a lot of fish. Thank you, sir. That is a big net. Come here, you. Oh, fat, big old fish. Oh. That was most excellent. I like that one. That's an awesome <laughs> fish. Oh, she sticks out like a sore thumb. We're going to do that a lot today, I hope. <laughs> Marcus and I have been, uh, well, this is our second year making this trip. And what brings us back is it's just one of those, I mean, how would you describe this? It's uh, just, it's just fun. It is. I, there's, we can't do this at home. We can't, well, I can't, no, I don't know where to go to do this in the States. No pressure. You never see anybody out here. These pike act like it. They're, that's the first bait they've ever seen, and the quality, it's amazing. Yeah, our small fish are 36 inches. Let's catch more. Let's get more big fish. Available in six technique-specific models, the new Deadeye Custom Series Spinning Rods from Akuma offer tournament-grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT Blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye Custom Series Rods offer an ultra-responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing.
offering features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Yes, sir. Here we go. Is it a netter or I got a dog. I got one over here too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's got the donkey? Anybody? I can't tell yet. Oh man, these that, wind aided. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm coming back with my rod. If this one gets off, so be it. As soon as we get him in this uh, scoop, just grab the, the net, please. I still got fish with attitude on mine. It. Thank you. Yeah, mine's a freak. Big one? Gah, yeah. You need a net over there? Well, I won't I won't rush yours. No, it's not as big as I thought. It's a it's an upper 30s, maybe. It might scrape 40, but it's not that big. Coming back into the dirty water was a good call. <laughs> Come here, you. Do you want to try to double net a fish? Let's see. I might be able to just gill cover grab. Yes, I did. Nice. Some nice fish come to the boat right now. I don't even know what that is. Oh, just a flesh wound. You know, they're not that far off the spawn. I would imagine uh, they get a little vicious towards each other from time to time. I got us on spot lock. We're just letting that Minn Kota just hold us. And we're gonna stay here for a while because uh, I've had four fish and four casts. Yours <laughs> is bigger, but that's quite a double right there. Good job. <laughs> That's fun. Let's get these go. Oh, come here. These fish are heavier. Jeez. Count your fingers, man. Nice. Ooh. That was awesome. That was fun. <laughs> Yuck, you gave me a pike slime handshake back. <laughs> I think yours is worse. <laughs> these uh, BX minnows are just the perfect bait for this. They're just hard as a rock due to that epoxy coating. But uh, Nipigon is down this spring about three feet in water level. So typically we'd have, you know, right at the edge of the reeds, we'd have three feet of water. Well, right now there's about this much. And most of the larger baits that we fish in the past, they're just dragging in weeds with every cast. So kind of had to look around in the, in the boxes there to find the baits that were, you know, pike friendly, but just didn't dive so darn deep. Yeah. Uh, X-Wraps and then these uh, uh, BX swimmers, just perfect for this. Oh, right there. That fish has got to be in the weeds. That's the heaviest thing I've ever felt. I think you're going to need the net. Buddy, if this thing doesn't have five pounds of weeds on its face, it's a really big one. But I'm thinking it's got weeds on there. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah, this is our biggest one in here so far. Look at that thing. She's setting me up, Marcus. Let's She's going to do something horrible. Horribly good. Come on. Uh-oh. Need me up there? No, I'll bring her back to you. She's hooked right in the corner of the mouth. She's not going anywhere. Let's get a little of the uh, the vinegar out of her so she's not so energetic in the net. Yep, nice. That's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to surpass the one from earlier? I don't know that it's going to be uh, bigger than 44 and a half, but it might have it on weight. These fish back here in this dirtier water, they're just fat. This is a giant. Good grief. You know, if Nipigon isn't the best drive to pike fishing, it's definitely up there. Look at this. <laughs> <sighs> that is a giant. <laughs> I knew I, it was either five pounds of weeds and a big pike or something like this. Just a stud. She is fat and feisty. Hang on, three seconds and it's gonna be over. Oh, what a big fish. I'm telling you, we get a 
43, 44 incher, that kind of girth, it's gonna be special. You're on your own. You're doing it. You're really doing it. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Available in six technique-specific models, the new Deadeye Custom Series spinning rods from Akuma offer tournament-grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye Custom Series rods offer an ultra-responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry leading five year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. Feels like a good one. Oh boy. I went and did something good. Come on. Oh. Off she goes. <sighs> Look at that line sizzle. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so I um, I'm fishing a ripping wrap. <laughs> I heard it swim by. And I'm not talking about your line. I heard the Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's a long fish. Yeah. On a rip and wrap. First time I've ever thrown one up here. Got some advice from the guy behind the camera. Fishing the uh, extra heavy SBX carbon swim bait rod from Okuma. It's a, it's a no joke rod. It's got some meat to it. And this fish is kind of owning me. Does he do it? He does it! Yes, Marcus! <laughs> it's a heavy net. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a major hand cramp going on there from that one. That was a fight. Oh, the hook is out. Ripping wraps out. <sighs> this is a big fish. Oh. Oh. On a bit of an unconventional bait, let me tell you. Number six, gold, silver, rip and wrap. Man, what a fish. <laughs> fight of the day, without question. All right. I know she's tired. I'm tired. We're going to better let her go. <laughs> First rip and wrap pike up here, that's for sure. I bet you won't be the last, though. There you go. Bye-bye. You're free. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? I think so. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Double yeah? Where you at, awesome? I'm getting pulled around. You are just owning them on that bucktail. There you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. I won. The hook came out. I didn't even have to touch it. That's a nice fish. There's so many quality fish up here. The number is unbelievable. I think we got her when she's a little green yet. Oh! We're doing some stuff here we've never done before. Sun came out, wind came up, and these fish are so shallow. So shallow we can't even use the uh, BX swimmers. They're up there in like a foot. And the nice thing about fishing a, a rip and wrap is if you want it to go shallow, you just crank faster. And these fish are just coming unglued on it. This is another good one. It's right under the boat, Marcus. Okay. Playing hard to get. 
All right, coming your way. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I am plum wore out. I think we got another stud. <laughs> Hot. Dang. What a big fish. Oh, 43, I bet. Yeah, probably. Here we go. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, there she goes. You want a ripping wrap? I might have to take one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're liking it. And the, the only advantage to it is, like I said, you can just keep it, you, know, you can fish it in nine inches of water. And those fish are up there, I'm sure they're just basking, getting warm, and we've got sunny day, probably in the low 70s. They're up there digging that warm temperature, and there's just not a lot of baits you can fish up that shallow. Thank you. Nice job. All right, that brings us to the end of today's show. It was start to finish huge fish. I love this destination and this time of the year, and I cannot wait to take somebody from our viewing audience up to Lake Nipigon and just making a phenomenal TV show from our time on the water. So what do you need to know? Um, to go to Lake Nipigon, obviously, you need to be able to legally enter Canada. That means you're gonna have to have a passport or be willing to get one. Uh, I will pay for everything else, uh, all the travel, food, lodging, you just need to get yourself to Minneapolis, Minnesota. I will take care of everything else. While we're up on Lake Nipigon, we'll go fish some pike, and if you want to, we'll mix in some other species as well. So I really look forward to uh, picking the winner of this Dream Trip giveaway because it means I get to go fishing at one of my favorite destinations on the planet. So good luck to everybody. Thanks for watching this week. A huge thanks to Brandel GMC in Aitken, Minnesota and Chad Thompson at Pasha Lake Cabins for helping us make this possible. So good luck everyone, we'll see you next week and we're gonna be back on the ice. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.